Oh, I'm, I'm boring, I just like vanilla. I think vanilla is the best, and it's the best way to gauge the quality of the ice cream. Trevor Pomery. Oh, I was born and bred in Adelaide. Golden North was started in 1880. The current owners bought in about seven years ago, so about 2010. We'd all been involved with the company, had a desire to see it continue, and had faith in the future of the company. They started making ice cream in 1923, and I don't think anybody thought about export uh, in this area at that time. Um, we really started concentrating on export two years ago. Um, we, we decided to expand beyond our postcode, which was to get out of South Australia and get into the eastern seaboard and to also get into some overseas markets to get some sustainable growth for the company. Yeah, it certainly has helped. Um, there's obviously tariffs when you go into a country and part of the free trade agreement is the decrease in the tariffs. So what it does is it makes our product more competitive with the locally produced product. We spoke to our customers in China and said, look, what flavours would you like us to produce for you? And the, the, the majority of them said green tea. First thing was I ate some while I was up there. Uh, my job is to eat ice cream. We then sat down with our flavour and ingredient suppliers and we have an R&D manager here who has his own lab and he's responsible for coming up with all of the flavours. Um, and we came up, we narrowed it down to four flavours. We then went to Austrade and said, look, we, we really do need to do some taste tests. So Austrade helped us out by getting first year university students. And we sat down with a session with Austrade and these students and gave them four different varieties of green tea to choose from. And flavour number B was the winner. Part of the attraction of Southeast Asia uh, and the Northern Hemisphere is that their summer is our winter. Uh, and one of the objectives was our production here is very skewed towards the, the warmer summer months. And so rather than have peaks and troughs, we were very keen to have a peak that went all through the year. Laura is a small country town. It, it's 550 people live in Laura. In the wide open main street, the speed limit's 60, but everyone drives 40. Um, we employ about 65. So if we grow, it's really good for the local economy. It's also very good for the dairy farmers because all of our milk is sourced as close to the farm as we can. So the milk goes straight from the farm into our silos on the side of the factory and the more we sell, the more milk we need.